Sinisa Estrada versus Yocasta Valle. 10 rounds for the undisputed strawweight championship. The winner becomes undisputed and the loser, well, hopefully they got a rematch clause on deck so they can run it back if that is the case. So let's get into it. Let's start with super bad Estrada. 23 wins, no losses, nine wins by way of knockout. Super bad is a bad girl, man. I mean, she can fight. She means business. She's fast. She has quick hands. She's got good footwork. You know, she isn't afraid to let her hands go. She isn't afraid to be physical and fight, right? I remember when she she fought Merlin Espinoza and the back and forth between both of those women, right? I thought Estrada did a great job of controlling the range and dictating the pace of the fight. She was tactical in her approach. Esparza was sharp herself, man. She hit the body of Estrada. I felt like she did a good job of responding to what Estrada was doing, right? That wasn't the best defensive performance from Estrada, I would say. I thought it was a true physical fight. Esparza landed some big shots, but Estrada did as well. She hit the body consistently in her regards. The fight was forced to go to the cards because of that man that you couldn't ask for a worse uh place for a headbutt and for a cut right in the middle of your forehead that gash was big and as far as i had to stop the fight in the ninth round but even prior to that man you know, you could see the momentum start to turn a little bit because Estrada saw that she was hurt. There's got to be something in the ring when you see blood. It just makes you a little bit more eager to get the finish. And Estrada just let her hands go a little bit more when she saw Esparza hurt. Again, you know, so I thought it was a very good fight. I would have loved to see a rematch. Would love to see a rematch at some point if that fight would ever happen moving forward. Now, let's go back to what Estrada looked like recently. In her most recent fight, she fought Leonella Udica uh, in a tough and close fight for a little bit of that fight. Right? Now, I know the scorecards say differently, right? But I don't think that was an easy fight for Estrada by no means, right? I felt like she was clipping Estrada with her left hand. She was physical when she needed to be landed consistent punches against Estrada. Estrada's chin was tested. It got clipped. She got hit a lot during that fight, more than I'm accustomed to seeing her get hit. Estrada, I felt like she was countering well, and it took her a good four to five rounds to kind of figure things out and to make changes, right? She was coming on the front foot and lunging forward, trying to hit the taller fighter, and Yudika would make her pay for that, countering her in some form. I felt like Estrada was having a little bit of problems with the height difference, right? And trying to close the gap against a bigger height-wise taller fighter. But slowly, she started to figure it out and adjust it, and she found a way to come out on top. Felt like she went to the body a little bit more, and she stepped back and countered most of the punches that Yudika was firing going into the second half of the fight. I felt like she knew that in order to get a shot, she would have to take a shot and take that risk. And again, that's what champions do, right? You got to find a way to get it done. And that's what Estrada has been able to do and was able to do in that fight. But I do not like how often she was getting hit in that fight. So I'm hoping that she makes better defensive adjustments in this fight. But it always helps when you have speed and quickness. And those are two things that are strengths of her. So she'll be looking to use both of those to her advantage in this fight. Let's talk about her opponent, Yocasta Valle, the other champion. 30 wins, two losses, nine wins by way of knockout. Valet's run to becoming a champion in her own right hasn't been easy. After starting her career 13-0, she would lose two fights back-to-back, -back. so her 14th and 15th fight, and she would lose to someone who has tried to be comfortable in Tina Rupercult, right? But then after that, she got back the momentum, got back into winning ways, and she has not lost a fight since. She fought a very good fight against Evelyn Bermudez, a few close rounds in their fight, a fight where she had to dig and find a way to get it done. Whenever she went away from the jab, she had troubles. Not that Yocasta is a big person that uses the jab very consistently, but when she does, it helps her set up her combinations. One of the punches that stuck out to me the most, I think it was the seventh or the eighth round, where she landed a big right hand that kind of wobbled Bermudez a little bit, but she wasn't able to fully capitalize on it. I thought Yocasta was headhunting a little bit too much in that fight, trying to close out the show in one punch that she neglected the basic punches and she didn't really set things up as effectively as she probably could. 
good. She's a big, strong opponent. She does have power, but I think sometimes she fights a little bit too emotionally and she stands and trades longer than she needs to be and puts herself in danger. She's got a good chin, absolutely, but you know, you don't want to get touched up too many times. You're going to have to fight a disciplined fight when you're fighting Estrada. But again, I felt like against Bermudez, that was a very good fight for her. And a fight that I'm not sure if she was the favorite or not. I'm assuming she wasn't because she won the title of that fight. But she came in and showed that she can fight at that championship elite level and the pressure not be too much for her. Last year, she came off a very big Yemen. She fought three times. Uh, she pretty much dominated every fight, won them all by wide margins. Her most recent fight she fought Annabelle Ortiz a former champion in her own rights and someone who fought Estrada and Esparza so when those fight when that fight started I mean both were swinging shots man they were both trying to take each other head off there wasn't a lot of jab throwing it wasn't too many tactical approaches in that fight it was just two women who were trying to take each other's head off right when one person missed the other would take advantage of it but yo costa she was getting the better of the exchanges ortiz was older so she was a little bit slower and yo costa was landing the cleaner more consistent punches she was faster the speed was a factor felt like yo costa was more evasive and she was just better with her counter she was the better fighter on the night point blank the 10th round in their fight uh, was a great back and forth fight, man. Both women looked tired, absolutely, but both women were letting everything fly. Punches from all over, whether it was punches to the face, punches behind the head, they were just letting those hands fly. But ultimately, uh, Yocasta was just too much for Ortiz on the night. She was the younger, stronger fighter, and she got the job done. I don't know if that's the type of game plan that she can come into this one and fight Estrada with, because Estrada isn't going to make it make herself an easy target to hit you're gonna have to come in with a little bit more game plan and not just trying to be one dimensional and close out the show all in one shot but we'll see how it goes so who wins i feel like if this fight is an in close in range brawling type of fight i give the edge to yocasta valet i give her the edge in that department as much as I like Yocasta, though, I think she needs that brawling type of fight to win this fight in order to beat Estrada. Estrada, I feel like, holds her technique a little better to me. I think the speed, the quickness factor, the hand speed rolls in Estrada's favor. So I think she's going to play it safe. I think she's a very disciplined fighter, and I think she'll box on the outside, fight on the inside when she needs to, but not spend too much time in danger. And I think she boxes her way to a decision victory in a controlled and disciplined fight. I like Sinisa super bad Estrada to win this fight by decision. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Shout out to all the members holding down the membership section. I appreciate each of you as well. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And we'll definitely see you next time.